Hey folks, how's it going? Looks like we finally got our new endgame content for Genshin, fingers crossed. This is also going to be fun, cause 3 years of only Abyss? Yeah, that didn't really leave a great taste in my mouth. Is the entire room a giant elevator? And are we stuck in here? <laughs> when is she ever? <laughs> okay, finally, imaginary room theater unlocked. Uh, you can use the Fantasia Tome in the theater lobby to start the imaginary room theater challenge. The theme of the imaginary room theater will change every so often, with the participation condition and special guest characters changing along with it. The opening characters of each section will gain fantastical blessings, which will grant them special buffs for in performance challenges and in your adventures across Tevet. Must select companions to form your party for the challenges according to the restrictions set by performance requirements. Each character starts with two vigors. Each time they complete an act, they will lose one vigor. Okay, looks like we're going to need a pretty big collection in order to go on if one character can only be used for two floors. And while not a real dog, we can pet the little wolf. This Base kind of screams uh, Hexezekiel's. What was their name in the first place? Only Pyro, Electro, and animal characters, as well as the special guests, may perform in this season's show. Okay, I've got like three unbuilt characters in this list. Supporting cast character can assist friends in their performances, up to seven can be set. Characters that meet the elemental type requirements for the season or special guests can be invited by friends. Supporting characters can assist friends up to 15 times during each imaginary theater session. Oh, these are the characters I can set for my friends. Cool. Uh, Pyro, Electro, Animo. Not sure about Raiden, she is C0 no weapon, but still. Well, that's still two per element. Uh, maybe it might put in Jean. Maybe bad put in D here just to troll. <laughs> Reward preview. Lasts for an entire month. Yeah, that's plenty of primo, as well as toy medals. I use it in the Imaginarium Theater to obtain Tespian tricks from Wolfie. Debut performance. Oh, these are likely going to be the first time clears. Uh, three combat performances to end the show, six, eight. Yeah, I think we're starting with our mode already. Evolved Fungus, when hit by electro attacks, can catalyze reactions. So this is likely where we're going to use Yaemiko, Bishops, it's both of them. But unless we still have the big rock in this stage, upon which they go and hide, that one can only really be broken by greatsword users. Ice Swing Suit, ah, Damn it, I think this might be for Glorind. After the above characters join your party, HP, attack and defense increase by 20%. It will take effect both inside and outside the Imaginarium Fe- Wait, what? We get 20% extra attack, HP and defense for Arlecchino and Glorind in the Abyss as well? That's pretty cool. 120% energy recharge, don't really care about crit rate and damage. Uh, yeah, sure, let's just put on something random. Weapon-wise, Favonius Lance, I guess you can get either uh, this one, or he should really be stealing the Favonius Lance from Zongli. <laughs> uh, current alternate cast, special guest task, character not owned. <laughs> All four not owned, this actually hurts a bit. Anyway, we said Yaimiko for the Terror Shroom, uh, second, we might do Jumping Diluc. The third one has to be Chlorine. Where is... Oh, that Chlorine was already picked. Arlecchino, we might do Pure Pyro. Yeah, we don't have access to Hydro. Might try something with her. But if I want to try something with Beidou, it's likely going to be for the... No, it can't be for Chlorine. Uh, what the hell am I going to run with Chlorine? I think I might want to give this guy up and actually bring a Chevros. So we can run Jean Ling with Chlorind, and we can run maybe Beidou with Arlecchino. Uh, Animo, something to heal is not going to hurt. 
Honestly, playing without Zongli, playing without Furina, that's going to be the hardest part. And we can pick four more characters. Like, honestly, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, yeah, I think we should be fine like this. Everyone still gets to use this anyway. And we can run some off teams for the lower, uh, lower settings. Let's start and see how this goes. Okay, so we can select a random companion. Uh, these both cost 80. Or we can start battling. Elite Assault, defeat all opponents, bonus challenge, triggers whirl 15 times, start challenge within 85 seconds. Opponents mostly just cryo and then draw. Might want to want something power in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paro characters have an advantage, they even spell it out for you. Swirl reactions mean we will need one of these two trial characters. See their stats at least. 100 mastery, 100 recharge. Double new swarbow, of course. Oh no, it's double gladiator, double viridescent. But you, 100 mastery, with it as a weapon. And of course the animal damage bonus set. Stats wise 7140. Okay, so this is not that bad. I like to adjust the order. It only took them three years we can finally do this. Oh, this is fantastic. And again, it only took them three years to fix this stuff. And if we go with Skara, yeah, I get the feeling the other one might not be needed. Do we need four? We need four, damn it. I think I would have preferred trying to run this with 3, just to try and save points from the 4th character. Okay, and we can save the ultimate for the third wave. Third wave for which I guess we'll just have to wait for here. Come on, not together over here. And there's still a few seconds left for the bonus. Okay, cool. Next one. And yeah, the characters we get are random, sadly. Would have loved if this was an animal, but if this was Kazua, would have been a lot better. Oh? Oh, we actually get to unlock them in here and chat to them, that's nice! Even if it's just one line, couple of lines per character, Finally seeing these guys around the world feels really, really nice. Okay, moving on, what's next? Normal battle, normal battle. Oh, you get to see the enemies in here. I didn't even notice it the first time. Honestly, I don't think we need these sort of buffs. But these are normal battles too. Uh, let's see what happens if we reroll. Elite Assault, another one. And select Companion. I think we can get by with another Elite Assault, especially if it's against these things. Try and stack up a little bit of money in the early game, then see if we can spend this to refresh the shop later and buy some buffs. Uh, Pyro have an advantage, these are weak to Pyro, so this is just going to be Arlecchino, Toma, and a couple of buffers. I don't want to give up on her fully. I uh, don't really care about Fazuran, and I guess we can run her in here just to complete the set, because we can't start with three. Honestly, I would just go with Ardekir and Toma in here. Yeah, 
Right, Melt goes against these shields, so it's fine. That's another full score with the little star as well. And of course with Arlecchino that's extremely easy. Got a little Kazua as well. Uh, even though... Oh god. <laughs> Just Arlecchino menacingly staring at us from that chair down there. <laughs> Gave me the shields. Okay, Battle Climactic Showdown. So I should be able to buy buffs as well as select my companion here. But it's only Pyro. Uh, yeah, either I go with Bennett or I go pick up Jean Ling. Jean Ling I might need it later as well. Companion invite for minus 100. And this looks to be generic. Uh, external audience support received, another 25. Fantastic, I can pick... Oh. oh, the list is random too? I was kind of hoping this would be the full list at least, especially since it costs 100. But yeah, this one goes to official then. Uh, another companion, no idea what it's a ball, it's likely going to be another small selection. Let's see what the buffs bring. One out of three. After the characters defeat an opponent, 10% elemental and physical damage bonus for 15 seconds, up to three times, each stack is independent. Uh, might be nice for stages where multiple opponents are present. Might be nice against the boss if we just go with Pyro and let it spawn the little mushrooms. 8 seconds after activating the elemental skill, crit rate for normal attacks increased by 10%, crit damage increases by 20. Basically Arlecchino buff. The Moitali will be kept after the elemental bursts are used. When the tally reaches 4, the count will be reset. All party members will gain 10 elemental energy. I'm thinking either, either first or second one. Uh, maybe second one, because this one, 10% crit rate, 20% crit damage works for both Arlecchino and Chlorind. Uh, external audience support to enhance it. 8 seconds, 15% crit rate, 30% uh, crit damage. Oh, fantastic! Animo Champion select, which we don't need. With another buffs in here. A tally will be kept when they deal critical hit to an opponent. At 4, reset and shockwave will be unleashed, dealing pyro, hydro, electro or cryo damage. This is going to stack with our extra crit rate buff, which might be nice. Uh, 4 critical hits, also not that difficult to deal, honestly. After the value of bond of life increases or decreases, that character attack increases by 12% for 8 seconds, maximum 4 stacks. Again, Chlorine and Arlecchino. After the active character triggers swirl on an opponent, crit damage increased by 10% for 6 seconds. Uh, this is mostly for Scaramouche, so this one is getting ignored. There are two more with Chlorine, one more with Arlecchino, which might be, fun for the next, uh, might be fine for the next couple of bosses. Let's go with this one. And we can get one more. Either one more buff or one companion. Should be fine companion-wise, let's just go with the third buff. Damage dealt by party members increased by 3% for each point in Vigor. Characters in the party have. Damage dealt is further increased by 3%, up to a maximum of 27%. When the attacks of the char active character hit an opponent, they have more than 70% elemental energy, unleashes it, bolt burst, shockwave in at the opponent position that deals AoE electro damage once every 6 seconds. After defeating an opponent, all party members regain 3% of their max HP once every 20 seconds. Healing we are not going to need, so this is going to be either the Vigor for the 27% maximum damage. Ah, let's go with this one, sounds better. And another external buff, up to 40% extra damage, Jesus! <laughs> Limactic time. Okay, what are we going to do in here? I'm thinking Chlorine, I'm thinking these two for either more Electro, but we can't go pure Electro, not like this. So maybe Pyro, 
and maybe Kazuha as well. Uh, yeah, something like this looks fine. Also, for the love of God, please bring the drag to adjust the order in the normal abyss too. Yeah, we, we might have taken this down a little bit too fast. Now, this is fine, but I kind of want my extra 20 points too. Okay, now he's in the exhausted state. Thirty-three seconds, and we got the extra twenty points. Fantastic. Next, and we got Shivers. Companion, companion, boon, but we're at one seventy. Uh, defense, oh god, defense sequence. Enemies are easily grouped. This one might have been fun with the likes of Venti, but I'm not sure if I want to waste a slot for Kazua on this stage. Uh, we still have one refresh. Maybe we can try and put this on a 110 point event, please. Oh, they are finally bringing back the, the architecture from Fischl's event. I knew they had to start recycling this at some point. This looks great. This looks fantastic. Okay, what are we going to do in here? Uh, Kazuha has to stay in. Not sure if I want either Clarind or Arlecchino. Again, Arlecchino might have to use for the next part. Uh, if they're easily grouped, I guess I can run with Scaramouche, since I don't really care about the guy. Fischl has two uses. Yeah, they might be easily grouped, but at the same time, if, we, if I do something like this, they're just going to get scattered to the four winds. Again, if this was a three-man challenge, I could, go, I could just go like this. I guess rest in peace, Cloud Retainer. ま、風、幅が暗くずらさよ。天へと舞え。風が吹いてこれんだ。図が高い。せい。また<笑> I forgot a few of them were ranged too, but still, managed to get everything in here. Unlock Diluc, <laughs> now that Cloud Retainer is gone, fantastic, thanks for the troll. Normal battle, companion select, wondrous boon or mystery cash. One of two mystery caches. This could be anything. First time we see it, let's go. Uh, obtain 15 more Fantasia flower after completing a combat event. Selectable characters increases by one when choosing alternate cast members to join the principal after a combat event. Oh, we're definitely going with the second one. More character unlocks. 
Another boon, 18% elemental and physical damage after triggering overload. Pity your opponent, 30% max HP, don't care. Ellie will be kept for the active character, normal charge or plunging to deal pyro damage. Chest 4, reset, infernal shockwave will be unleashed during AoE pyro damage. Yeah, extra pyro damage to pair with Arlecchino, maybe might not be that bad of an idea. Uh, we're going to go against the double uh, Vishaps though, some extra damage, extra overload might not be that bad. Companion or Boon, uh, Electro Companion, which has to be Yai, Raiden or Beidou. Now I think we're fine like this, so let's go for yet another Boon and then we do a battle. After the active character deal creates extra damage, Pyro damage, Infernal Shockwave, Swirl, Vortex Shockwave. We don't have any more characters anymore, and we're going to need to get Jin to trigger this. So let's just go with more crits. Triple battle either against the machines, triggering overload reaction. Ah, but this is going to eat up Chlorine. Yeah, either Chlorine or Fischl. Be frozen less than six times? This one might be better. I mean, be frozen less than six times just means that we need to either dodge or apply some sort of effect to ourselves. Uh, we can bring you in here. We can bring you two in here. But this is also going to burn Jean Ling. Yeah, it looks like when it comes to these sort of events, getting more character unlocks is going to be better, at least for the early stages. Because if we keep going on like this and burning characters, this is actually going to start hurting a bit. Oh cool, it still hits. And that's it. Wait, is that it? Oh no, we have this is a timer one. I might have noticed a bit late that this was a timer one, but still. That's a nice full score. It's a selection. Pick Jin, pick Yae. I still have her for electro damage. I might need some defense down, because everything else left is just Pyro. Uh, let's go with Jin at this moment. We spend as much stuff as possible in here. And yeah, this has to be companions. We are running out of companions far too quickly. Uh, I don't think I have much use for Yoimiya, especially without the possibility of doing vapes. So we might pick her up at this time. Companion select, but it's fire. Companion select, let's see this one. Uh, one from two choices. Yeah, that's Bennett. I might go with Bennett. And we're left to 75. We can't pick a third one. We can only pick one buff before heading to the boss. Uh, mark opponent's hit by elemental skill or off-field character. When the active character hits them, same elemental type, a radiant blade descends on them dealing physical damage. 
Ah, physical though. After enough elemental bursts, regain elemental energy. Uh, who do even have the deals elemental skill damage? Is it might just be Yaya, and I'm pretty sure we haven't picked her up yet. Because yeah, this is burst damage. This is normal attack damage, normal attack damage. I think he's for elemental skill damage, but he only has one use left. Now we're going with the Sunfire for the next stage. Uh, Raiden, Sunfire, and a plus one, which is likely going to be Chevros. Now one thing I need to read about Chevy is the way she buffs, because again, I don't have her as a character. I'm not too familiar with her game. She will restore HP to your active character on the field, based on her max HP. If she has an overcharge ball, she will fire the overcharge ball instead, dealing greater power damage in a larger area. She gains one every time a nearby character triggers an overload reaction, either burst first, or I can just trigger this with a Raiden's skill. Okay, uh, E heals you just extra damage. Rans coordinated taxi tactics to nearby party members. After a character trigger overload reaction, Pyro and Electro resistance of the opponents affected by the overload will be decreased by 40% for 6 seconds. I'm afraid I can't get this. Yeah, if I wanted to do this, Jin would need to go out. Probably should have saved Fisher for this. Because if I bring any other of these characters, it's just going to be a waste. I uh, don't really have anyone to trigger overloads with, unless I want to do something like this. Uh, not to mention, I don't even get that much overload damage like this. Because the only extra pyro of field damage is going to be her little balls. Still, not that many options. Either I go like this, or I go with the Sunfire and ignore her extra mechanic. On the weird side, it looks like even if you use the invulnerability flame, it still counts as getting hit by the little boss there. But that's another nice and easy clear. Again, 44 seconds, maybe a little bit slow, but it's fine. We still got max score. Finally, Yae. Uh, battle, 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 and companion select. Now, we can do companion select before the boss, so we might go for battles this time. These are consecrated beasts, though. Shields have an advantage, <laughs> now that we don't get shields. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, use an elemental burst at least six times. This means we continue to do this in two rotations at least, which might be a little bit difficult. Uh, defeat one opponent using elemental skills, so this is basically made for Yaya. It's not ideal, not really a proper team, but at the same time, it should be more than fine. Our skill kill we've already done, but yeah, that could have been it too. Rest in peace to three more characters. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to get Beidou here. Uh, Uja aligned characters, Pyro characters. And I guess this is where I realized that she is not an Uja character. Oh right, no, she doesn't have either uh, Uja or Pnuma, because she's not from Fontaine. Right, what about you? Uja aligned, fantastic. I can just use Chevros for this boss. Uh, still, before we get there, companions shouldn't really be needed, so we can go pick up more buffs. Uh, swirl, we're not going to do. Swirl, we're not going to do. I guess you can do healing, but at the same time we're not really doing elemental skill damage. And this cannot be reset, so... Companion select. Really? 
Well, at least now we've run out of companions, so we should be fine with this. Uh, more buffs, we should be able to get two. When overloaded it's triggered, a shockwave at the opponent position once every four seconds. Or extra pyro damage. Or extra attack. We're not running Bennett, extra attack on healing might be fine, especially since our Lekino heals herself with her ultimate. Do we want to go for the mystery cache? Or for the another buff? The mystery cache could have anything, even another buff. Now nah, let's go for the last buff and close this thing. Uh, marked opponents hit by the elemental skill of off-field character for 6 seconds. Radiant Blade descends, uh, dealing physical damage, trigger once every 2 seconds. Uh, do we even have anyone dealing off-field damage? I guess we do, we've got both Beto and Raiden. And that's it, we're out of points. All that's left is the last showdown. And this one is going to be Arlecchino, Beto, Chevros and a plus one, either Raiden or Yae. I think I might want to run Yae here. The turrets should last long enough for a rotation of the Kiro's normal, and they're going to deal a crap ton more damage compared to a. Only problem here might be Beto's burst, might not come up back in time, uh, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, get your shield. And we even managed to destroy it twice. Honestly, couldn't have gone better. And that's it. At least for our first clear. A perfect ending to this show. Please everyone put your hands together and give them a round of applause. Instead of a round of applause, if you guys want to give a like and subscribe or even maybe leave a comment, that would be a lot better too. Accolades and credits. We get an actual end screen? Ah, this is cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Not to mention, the mod itself went pretty easy, took a little bit, but then again, it was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> Most damage taken poor Chevy, 18k. Uh, total characters appearing, 17. Uh, team that completed performance the fastest, of course it's the Corinne team. <laughs> Honestly, it's been a while since I've been this excited about some Genshin content. Uh, usually it's just the story events and a little bit of the combat ones, but with this being a permanent mode that resets once a month, then yeah, we're finally starting to eat a little bit better. Finally, after three years, a new step in the right direction is a really, really nice breath of fresh air. Thespian Troves. Tests and tricks available from the Thespian Trove will be reset along with each new season in the Imaginarium Theater. After exchanging the tricks, you can use them on the corresponding character photo page. Oh, nice, we get the character poses. Rewards for everything. 620 Primo Gems. And some more stuff to level up artifacts and all of the debut performances. Oh cool, we got the billet trove as well. 1100 primo gems. Uh, again, maybe I was expecting this to be a little bit more difficult, especially considering how hard they went with the Spiral Abyss this time around. But no, this was pretty fun. This was relaxing and fun, even if we didn't manage to use either uh, Zongli, Furina or Nahida, because <laughs> those were my best support for the past few years. Uh, we only get three. Well, Raiden has to be one, Jin has to be the other. Third slot is going to go to either Zhang Ling or Noel. <laughs> Noel fans, pre please don't eat me alive, because <laughs> the third one is going to Zhang Ling for me. I guess that's going to be it for me for the moment. Again, really, really fun new mode, really glad to see Genshin finally waking up and doing something for endgame content. 
As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you guys around soon. Ciao!